dirt roads to rock crawling, two buck chuck to screaming eagle, moonshine to 50 year old single malt. We talk about it all here on Wheelin' Wine and Whiskey with your hosts, Jason and Chris. Welcome to Wheelie Wine and Whiskey, episode 80, at the home studio, with Chris and Lorenzo. Lorenzo? Oh, he's there. Chris? Are you down there? I'm here. Can you hear? We're still socially distancing. Yes. Because we're... (laughs) Post-election... We're about eight feet apart. We're like extra social distance. Oh yeah, right no, now. we're we're six feet plus two. Post election, I thought all this shit was supposed to go away at the election. No, I, I was no, told wrong. It's ramping up. It's getting worse. I, I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to get political right no, now. No, but we're anyways, not. but uh, we may be like doing this by phone soon. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we might be in Canada soon. I think. Canada. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, episode 80. 80. 80. 80 freaking episodes. I know. Is that insane? It surprises me every single time when we uh, when we add up the numbers. It's just like we talk. It's like 75 and then 70. And when we hit 50, <laughs> it's like, holy shit, are you kidding me? <laughs> now we're at 80. And that's 20 from 100. I know. And I know we talked a couple episodes ago. Oh, we're going to talk about you know hundred. Ep- oh, we're going to talk about episode one hundred. But yeah, we have to kind of start thinking about that because uh, it'll really? be here before long. Twenty more. I know. Sometime in early twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one is just around the corner. Oh God, it's got to be a better year. Got to be. Got to be. I, it can't be any worse. Let's just put it that way. Well, let me put it to you like this. You know, oh, this, this here year, we go. This year has been such a <laughs> shit show, as we all know. Everybody's been enduring the same <laughs> bullshit. Um, I've decided, my wife and I decided, we're going to set up Christmas this weekend. And this is, we're re- we're recording on, <laughs> we're, we are recording on Friday the 13th of November. No, we are. Are we? Is yeah. It, oh, it is Friday the 13th. It is. It is. So so we're we're recording and we've had a fantastic dinner. You did a fantastic job cooking. Oh, thanks. Well, Thank you were God. doing nothing. I, uh, really? Just saying. Hold on. <laughs> That's a hint. Yours. So <laughs> so I was busting my ass. What do we have? We had a uh, ribeye steak. Uh-huh. We had uh Potatoes, red potatoes. Oh, they that were I, so good. Yeah, that Sizzled I did up. in the cast iron skillet. And broccoli, just because we had to have some sort of vegetable a to green, feel good green, about green ourselves. Green vegetables, yeah, steamed. So we didn't fantastic. feel bad about eating the fatty steak. <laughs> oh, and rock cod. I got some fresh oh, rock shit, cod today. That was today. super good. How'd you cook that? In the air fryer. That was killer. That's the first time I ever cooked fish. In the air fryer, and that came out really good. It was it was really good and Crispy, healthy, right? Absolutely. I didn't have to deep fry it or no, anything. Or, no. I mean that was that was good. I feel I feel lighter right now. Don't you? Not you really. look you look. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, it was uh, it was a good good meal. And, it was a great uh, meal. Yeah, and I did dishes, which normally in my house, when you cook, you don't clean. And I like to cook. And then you were over there just doing something. Well, with I was the doing stuff. Computer we're, and all this podcast. You're all on busy podcasting shit. Well, okay. you know, we're always upgrading. Right, the show's so always I'm, changing. I'm like over here fucking cooking, cleaning, everything. Well, then you look great in your little apron. Thank you. Just Thank saying. you very little. <laughs> Anyways, Lorenzo didn't do shit. Well, he never does anything. No. I mean, He's just a saying. super producer. I don't know. Are you really a super producer? Is it uh, true what they say about the way you people are gifted? Oh, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to keep it PG right now. Yeah, well, okay. Like a donkey? I don't know. So... (laughs) <laughs> let's let's uh let's move on. This is going to be quite a 
quite an episode 80 here. So um, wait yeah. a minute. Yes. I do have something. Sure. To say right now. Okay. Uh, this is very uh, 2020 craziness technology. Big brother watching you. Okay. Okay. More so than ever before. Yes. I never experienced this before. I, I'm driving my 2017 F350 Ford. Okay. Got my phone plugged in. Apple CarPlay, right? For sure. Waze and the music and the podcast. Podcast mainly. Right. Listening to, you know, our, our friends at Snail Trail. You listen to them? I do. Oh. I'm all caught up with them. I, I, I don't know how, but somehow I'm caught up to their 14 episodes per week. Um, you know, <coughs> Mike and Max's podcast. So they're great because sure. they, they're like every other week. You know, they skip a few weeks. It's okay. Whatever. Oh, yeah. I guess you can. Yeah, that's cool. Have they had an episode in the last month? Uh, yes, they had one. I know and I then, saw a post that they skipped one this week. And then, <laughs> and then um, Talent Tank. All right. With I Wyatt, love Wyatt. Mm-hmm. Wyatt's consistent and the, his interviews are great. So uh, those are like my, my three steady ones. And then you got Off Road Podcast. Sure. Total Off Road, Garage, and all that stuff. But. Um, I got my truck plugged in and everything to my phone, right? And the uh, yesterday, this was super crazy. So yesterday, I'm driving along, and I knew I was low on fuel. The, you know, so when it hits 50, you got 50-mile range, it says, hey, low fuel. You have like a 75-gallon tank in that it's, thing. Uh, it's almost 75. It's 48. Well, that's close. But 48. Who's counting? So 48 gallons. Anyways, it's saying low fuel, 50 miles. And Jason, I'm like, okay, money cool. to fill the thing 40 up. 40 miles, 30 miles. Well, I couldn't even afford to fill your truck. I stop. <laughs> I stop <laughs> at my last job site, and you know, go check out. You know what's going on. Okay, everything's cool. Blah blah. Hop back in my truck, and start it up, and it goes low fuel. Here's the nearest gas stations. What? What? It was from Apple Maps. Okay, so Mm, my phone somehow knew that I was low on fuel. And, oh, by the way, here's your lowest, uh, here's your current or nearest stations to fuel at. Mm. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I don't know. I'm just watching watching your microphone go. I didn't like that. (laughs) I was. I want to tighten that up. (laughs) <laughs> that is creepy, dude. Steve Jobs and his... Have his... you ever had that experience no, before? No, no, Where it came up on my big old display on the screen. I don't get that low on fuel. Well, I normally don't, but I, I that's how crazy my life's been lately. Oh. And I'm like, okay, um, the microphone keeps going down here. What do I do? You, I need This microphone need, needs some Viagra Viagra. I was going to say it Viagra, Viagra. yeah. <laughs> You having you having technical issues over there? I don't know, man. Here we go. Okay, that's as tight as it can get. Can't, can't keep it up. <laughs> Here we go. Do we have a sound effect for that? No, we don't. Oh, oh maybe the oh, the, the pack. No! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, what the hell? So, anyways, that was super crazy when it came up on my screen. Oh, you're low on fuel. By the right. way, here are some local fueling stations. Well, yeah. So, did you fill up or are you still running low on fuel? Oh, no. I just, I'm running on fumes right now. No, Perfect. of course I fueled up, oh, but shit. I knew where I was going. I was, you know, close. To, I was within six miles from home, from my home diesel station, which has the best price on fuel, by the way, in the Bay Area, not in the. California, no, because we're just like forty cents higher a gallon than everywhere else, or a dollar but, or two. But anyways, I didn't know if you've experienced that. That was that no. was crazy. No. So somehow Big Brother is watching and knew that I was low on fuel and says, "Hey, dumb shit, you need to go fuel up." And I rarely run that low on fuel, but I had been running around, had to get to job sites, had to make meetings. Uh huh. Making it happen. Making it happen. Wa- waving my magic wand, and freaking my truck's telling me, "Hey, you get, need to fill fuel. up." And here's the local stations. Well, that's 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 mighty nice. <laughs> 
I don't know. It was a little like too big brother for me. Well, I mean, shit. I mean, what if you were down? I mean, it's funny because somebody, a friend of mine on Facebook, uh, posted that they had distance to empty zero, and uh, you know zero, they, and they were still going. And and, I, and she's like, "Is this is this bad?" And I'm like, "You know, some friends of mine were kind of mechanically inclined, and and we're like, that's not a good thing because you know." It's a gasoline car. The in tank fuel pumps are cool. Yeah, you don't want to run low on you don't fuel. Want to right. In any vehicle. In so any this vehicle. is a, this it's is not a good. PSA, a little public oh, here service we go. announcement. Just here we go. Don't run your fuel tanks low or empty because the your fuel pump in tank fuel pump needs the gasoline around it to keep itself cool. Well, yeah. And exactly. That, you got an that, intake fuel that, pump. That's 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 a important thing. Because, you know, dropping the tank and replacing it at the dealer, that's buku bucks, man. Well, and then you you suck up all the crap that's oh, at the bottom exactly, of your tank too. Exactly. Because I'll tell you, I've been to gas stations and uh, changing fuel filters on the the Jeep right after I, my dad and I built this fuel tank, fuel cell, right, if you will, stainless steel, one hundred percent clean, sterile. sterile. I went and fueled up, and I looked in the bottom of the tank, and there was so much shit and sediment in the bottom of that tank. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? They don't have filters at the gas tank? Well, apparently not station? at this gas station. And I'm not, it remains a name shell. But anyways, <laughs> so honestly, it's like you don't know what you're putting into your tank. No. Right? It's, it's actually, you're, you're kind of hoping that it's going to be, because if you're getting And gasoline, you're going to a good station like right. Shell, Sev- Chevron, you know, you're going to the name right, brand right. and not like fucking Joe Blow gas station, you know, Garlic Farm gas station or whatever. Right. Uh, it's, you, it's all faith that you're getting out super or regular I'm or, or mid grade or whatever. This gas station that remains unnamed Shell. <laughs> Had a shit ton of sediment uh, that I got from filling up wow. the first time in the Jeep. No guarantees 90, in life, Jason. 91, 91 octane, paying the big bucks. And I got I got extra for my dollar that I didn't bargain well, for. Shit. Well, there you go. Anyways. Hashtag Jason money. No, no. That was, I just, you know, you got to run the 91 in your performance vehicles. Well, God damn, I don't think I don't own a performance vehicle. Your microphone is really sagging. What? <laughs> we need better equipment, Chris. We need uh, uh we need more <laughs> patrons. <laughs> <laughs> <My fucking mic. laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I got this thing as tight as it'll go. What's happening tonight? I don't know. We're having okay, I'm going to go Lorenzo, down low. Here we go. Lorenzo's just There's no way this is job. falling out now. Holy Lorenzo, moly. you are not doing your job at all. The setup of the studio <laughs> is not good at all. Oh, my God. Holy <laughs> mackerel. The, the mic just fell out of the mic stand. I wasn't even touching it. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> poof. I'm like, what the hell? Anyway, yeah, we're having a good time tonight. It's Friday the 13th. We're just chilling at, at, at the home studio. This trying, whole year's been Friday the 13th, we're by just the way. trying to get shit done, and we have a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> if we, This is... If this, we can ever get there. This is, I mean. going, this is going south <laughs> in a hurry. Jesus. So, uh, hey. Hey. We have a new patron. Do we really? Yes, sir. Let's talk about our patrons for a second. I do want to talk about yeah, our Yeah, I'm holding my mic because you apparently my you, mic stand you, can't. It's the only way to keep it up. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we have 29 patrons. Holy now. crap, Batman. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. And it's we're super, super happy that all these, these individuals have chosen to support our podcast with their hard-earned money. Exactly. And I, it, honestly, I mean, seriously, people, love it. And, and I get it. Not everybody's going to throw money at us. And those of you that are, the 29 of you that are, <laughs> yes, 
That is so freaking cool. It is cool. And it has enabled us to upgrade our operations. And uh, Chris? Yes? Chris goes a little crazy with with money. So just saying, we're trying to step up our podcast and keep things going. And um, our patrons have been, re- they, they got a, a letter. Yes. From Lorenzo. That's right. Stairs. And stickers, and then there's more coming. There's some crazy <laughs> rants, rants and jokes and coming jokes. their way that is exclusive to the patrons only. Exactly. Because we want to give back. We do. You guys are putting your hard-earned money in, and we appreciate that. And we want to give something back. So, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we do. And and so that's coming very shortly. We're going to have rants and jokes, Jason's jokes. I think our patrons should have, like, badges. Oh, my God. I think. I think they badges? should. We don't need no stinking badges. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, maybe they don't they need stickers. badges. They but stickers. they need something. So they got stickers. But we need something to throw into the the mix here. Because uh, thank you guys so much, and gals, yep. that have supported us, and uh, appreciate it. And if you want to, you just you feel inclined. So there's a couple ways you can support this podcast. One, for nothing, you could write a review, a five-star right. review. Right, on iTunes. Because uh-huh. it's only five-star that we, we accept. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully, yeah. No, for, yeah, and if you do write a five-star review... DM Jason uh, at Wheeling Wine and Whiskey yes, on Instagram. Yes, and we will send you a sticker. Absolutely. And Jason Jason runs that, that IG page, and uh, he's very receptive and responsive on that. I try to be when I, in between jobs. But, uh, you know, um, you don't have to be on Apple. You don't have to have an Apple device to, no. to make that happen. No. So you can... You know, log on on any device to Apple That's iTunes correct. right? and write a review. Exactly. And that would be greatly appreciative. But if if you, you feel inclined, you're like, hey, I want to write a review and I want to throw some bucks at you. Well, you can go to wheelingwineandwhiskey.com, go to our Patreon right. segment and, you know, sign up for any of the tiers, the five, ten, twenty dollar tier, whatever. Right. Exactly. And uh, greatly appreciated. Yeah, not absolutely. necessary by any means. No. We're not, you know, no guilt. It, no guilt. Nothing. <laughs> Lorenzo's not going to come and hunt you down or anything like that. Hey, hey, hey! Get back here. <laughs> Lorenzo is What's on li- point what do you, tonight. What do you have a list. I what don't is, know. He, that looks like addresses, dude. But but uh, <laughs> anyways, we really truly appreciate. Everybody's support this this podcast has gone way beyond where we thought. We're in our 80th 80. episode right now. Ochenta. Which is crazy. So oh, we've cranked crazy. out one a week for a since year and we a half. started. Wait, and that, almost two years. And that's silly. Silly. Almost, almost two years. I want my time back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. We've had fun doing this. We have had a blast doing it. Absolutely. This. And, so and our, the cool thing is the people that we've met along the way. Oh, hell it's yeah. enabled us to meet a lot of cool people along and, the way. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more. I know Jason was out wheeling, and we talked about that. I've been wheeling a lot. How about episode. you, Chris? Oh, I got out. Oh, you got something going on. But, okay, but cool. Hang, hang on. Hang okay. on. So okay. we, we, we started this patron, uh, you know, this uh, update. Uh, so our latest patron... I uh, want to give a shout out to Rod. Nice. Thank you so much, Rod, for supporting the podcast. Thank you, Rod. We certainly appreciate that. That's awesome. Very cool. Uh, keep an eye on your mail for the stickers. I'll be I'll be uh, hopefully mailing those out tomorrow. On Lorenzo. The 14th. Yes. Or, yep. Lorenzo might do it. I might do it. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, again, thank you so much for your support. Awesome, and all of our patrons, we definitely appreciate you. So killer. Very cool. Oh my gosh! This this is who'd have thought? It's really crazy. It really is. So, moving on because now we got to get into the content. Yeah. Um, before we do that, one thing I want to mention is merch. Merch. Okay, so not just our merchandise. Like, no. if you want a hoodie, t-shirt, a beanie, 
I'm wearing a beanie right now. You are. That is a nice looking beanie, by the way. Hell yeah, it is. Um, you know, stickers. Uh, we got our our semi magnetic cozies. <laughs> With an up- updated model to come, which to we're, we're <laughs> we've been working strong to get really good uh, ferrous magnet, fucking <laughs> magnetic. But you know cozies. these limited edition ones could be. They are limited edition, <laughs> semi magnetic. Hey, hey man, I got one of the first issue ones. These don't work, but they're freaking cool, man. Anyways, <laughs> it will it will stick on your your you know steel refrigerator. With half a beer. Uh, with no beer or half a beer in it. But anyways, uh, uh, you know, Christmas is around the corner. It is. You want to check that out. And we have a discount code. That's correct. That not only works for the Wheeling Wine and Whiskey merch, okay? Which is through our buddy's website, Dirtbag John, who has helped out the podcast from day one and has helped us develop... Uh, our logo, right. which has been well-received, which I, I love. And it tickles me to death when I'm out there four-wheeling and people, uh, you know, this last week I posted a few people uh, wearing our logo throughout their travels sure. throughout the United States. Right, right, is, right. It's just surreal to me. But here you go. Capital letters. Oh, boy. Here we I don't go. know if it's case-sensitive. I don't think so. May or may not be, but capital letters... Lorenzo, L O R E N Z O ten is going to get you ten percent off not only Wheeling Wine and Whiskey swag, but dirt bag swag. Oh, nice! Okay, so anything from from our website, who is hosted via the dirt bag website, Correct. Johnny goes. We're gonna we're gonna just throw that out to your listeners. Killer and any dirt bag. You know, swag, shirts, Merch. sweatshirts, mm-hmm. all that stuff is is part of that ten percent off. So super freaking cool. And then our patrons get twenty percent off, right? Which they will get emailed the twenty percent off special code exactly that you guys can't share. Nope. Okay, you don't, don't know know share that code. <laughs> but but. Those 28, 29, 28, 29, how 29. many? 29 patrons get a 20% off code uh, for uh, not only Wheelie Wine and Whiskey, but also dirt bag. Dirt bag clothing. Absolutely. So, super cool. Thank you, Johnny, for helping us out at Dirt Bag Clothing and hosting our website for the merch and taking care of all the merch. Yeah, doing all the fulfillment. And, mm-hmm. and, Oh, I've already talked to Johnny, but there's more. We got a couple new items coming out that oh, will that for KOH. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so uh, pretty excited about that and very timely. Tease, tease, tease. Well, a little something, something. Oh, yeah. We got to keep growing. We do. Got to keep keep with the times. New equipment, and all this new COVID merch, stuff. New bourbons. They're just saying. New mascots. There's some stuff coming down the pipeline. So anyways, uh, there you go. Lorenzo 10. Lorenzo 10 wow. gets you 10% off. That was a dramatic pause. Well, i just trying to, you know, Lorenzo was looking at me very sternly like, make sure you spell my name right, mofo. So it's M-O-F-O. <laughs> No. <laughs> so. Okay. Right on. There it is. Boom. Whoop. There it is. Get your Christmas shopping in early. Absolutely. Well, and Christmas isn't that far away, folks. I mean, my God, we're it's it. Like I said, we're recording this on the thirteenth of uh, November. I'm putting my Christmas lights up tomorrow. Are 14th. you really? Yeah. I'm. I'm dec- to hell with it. This year's. This year's so decorated screwed up. already. I love it. With. I'm doing it, dude. I've already seen houses with oh, Christmas yeah. lights on. Oh, no, for sure. People. I have saw. Their- I saw a truck driving to work. The uh, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. The guy had Christmas lights all over his truck. Yeah. So people are saying, "F it." I I'm already into Christmas mode, and God bless them. And there, I saw some Christmas lights yesterday going out around town, uh-huh. and I'm like, "That's cool," because yeah, let's yeah. let's just get this freaking year over with, That's right? And it's, move on, it, it, right? I mean, like, okay, we're not going to get political, but I mean, yeah, the, everything's just it is what it is. So let's try to what do they say? Make lemon lemonade out of lemons. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Yeah, that's so, it. 
Do your Christmas shopping. Nothing says I love you like like Wheeling Wine and Whiskey merch. Boom. Do it. Nothing says I love you like <laughs> Wheeling Wine and Whiskey merch. And if you buy it and you wear it, DM us or post it on Yeah, on the gram. please do because I will repost that. And it is so freaking cool. It Again, it's it's just surreal to me to see people... Uh, accept this podcast and and wear a item of clothing with our logo. Yeah, out on their vacation or whatever, like Tyson, Tyson did. Yeah, no, it's very CJ. Cool. Yeah, I mean it's just super freaking cool. So thank you guys and uh, keep spreading so the cool. good word. So speaking of for sale, oh oh, the last podcast. Yeah, with uh, I gotta. <laughs> James, Samurai James. Yeah, he's selling his Samurai, I heard. No, no, he's not selling it. No? He, he, was, he came up with, a, with a, a deal for you not going for wheeling. Hey, and, hey, 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 hey. And it's like hangman. So we put a for sale sign on your, your Jeep, and every trail you don't make, a, a letter goes out. Right, like I F-O-R, heard that. F-O-R, S-A-L-E. And then if you go on a run, a letter comes off. Well, because there's no letters now. So I think Negative you're like letters. at four right now. I'm just no, just I'm keeping like, count over the like summer that. and everything. No, I yeah. think you're at four. Well, shit, I don't have all this vacation time. But you went do. wheeling. You went wheeling recently. I did. I did. So you took a letter off. Yes, I did. So you might be a foe. I'm a foe? You might be a foe. But so tell us about your trip that you took last weekend. <laughs> In your rig, yeah. Actually, four wheeling on on not only like like dirt but snow, snow because we got snow last yeah. weekend. Oh yeah, no. All right, it's the show is yours, Chris. The, step into my shoes and tell us about how four wheeling uh, is all about. Really? Yeah. So just, it, just this go. was this was kind of a you know when you were you and the gang. James and CJ and all those guys that conspire against me were... We're not against you. We're no, with you, but you need to be with us. You're against me. No. Anyway, you guys... <laughs> so, while you guys were conspiring to sell my Jeep on the Rubicon Trail... Oh, well, I, that that may or may not have happened. Well, yes. uh, there might have been a little bit of bourbon involved. Or well, a lot a of bit lot of, of A lot of, lot of bourbon involved. But... <laughs> so, our good friend Rodney, uh, latte, oh, latte, the latte, the latte Jeep, you know, Rodney. The jail latte the, machine. That's right. The he, rolling uh, latte machine. He texted me and said, hey, we're going to do, uh, we're going to run the Strawberry Trail, uh, Strawberry Pass Trail, uh, you know, next weekend, which was last weekend. And uh, I was like, hey, I might do that. That would be good. I, uh, so I was mildly offended I didn't get invited. Well, you know, I don't know. It's not hard One, I could take it as a compliment because all my rigs are like way beyond overland status. Well, or uh, it, it's like, no, he didn't want me there. So I don't know. I don't know. Because well, he said you have to have 37s, <laughs> 35s or 37s. Yeah. And uh, and lock at least locker in one end. Right. Which you don't have. And so both my rigs have lockers in both ends. I got 38s and 43s. Yeah, it's not good enough. And, and apparently I was overqualified. Well, That's the, how I'm taking the it. The buggy wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been legal in, in this application. Uh, legal schmeagle, whatever. And, but uh, it, so let, me, let me get into the okay, go on this trip. So, go. So, yeah, I agreed. And, I, and it's like, this is like anything in my life, it's a last minute decision that I'm going to be able to pull this off. So, finally, it comes Thursday. I'm like, yeah, I can make this happen. This is going to work. You know, I, I talked to my assistant at work who looked like it was going to go. So, I dragged the trailer home from, uh, from work on Friday afternoon. Yeah, yeah. And I get home and I got, you know, I got my food planned. It's a day trip, so it's no big deal. So, I'm going to. Uh, leave it oh dark thirty on Saturday morning. Drive up to Rodney's house up in Jackson, off of eighty eight. Beautiful Anyways, area. So I I bring the trailer home Friday afternoon, and I get it you know get it home and get the Jeep loaded up and strapped down and check all the tire pressures on the trailer and you know get it all dialed in so for this uh, yes. early morning departure. Um, yeah, wake up at you know. 
3.45 on Saturday morning. And I'm like, okay, make my coffee, you know, get ready, throw the last of the the, the food in the cooler for lunch, get the bre- uh, manifold burritos ready to go. Exactly. And all those things. So I jump in the truck at, you know, 4.20 in the morning. I'm wheels up out of my driveway. Nice. So I could be, because we wanted to be meeting the rest of the group. There was supposed to be five rigs total meeting up in, uh, what was it, uh, not Pine Grove? Mm-hmm. Or Lone Pine? I don't know, whatever, near Jackson. So I get up to Rodney's house at, uh, you know, a little after 6, 6.20, 6.30, and we unload the Jeep. And the weather's good. It's chilly. But uh, anyway, get the Jeep loaded up or unloaded. Get the cooler loaded into it or whatever. Right, we right. Get everything warmed up. Have a cup of coffee with with Rodney there, and then we roll up to the meet the rest of the group at the donut shop up the street. <laughs> Ooh, donuts! Donut. We nobody went in and got donuts, but whatever. Really? So we after that we so we're all together and meet some people I'd never met before. It's cool. So we had a, a, gr- a total of five. We had my Jeep, which is the ninety five uh, Wrangler YJ Barbie Jeep, and then we Ooh. had. Uh, uh, the JL, you know, latte machine that Rodney drives. Yeah. And, nice. uh, you know, he had his latte machine fired up and, and pouring out espressos and lattes all day. Sweet. Uh, then we had a, a, <laughs> a brand new, I mean, literally brand new Toyota Tacoma. We had a factory, like a, I don't know, three and a half lift, inch lift on it or something. This thing, I didn't realize it at the time, but it had 250 miles on it. Really? The guy, it was brand, brand new. Brand speaking new. Never been off road. Paper plates. The guy isn't Bob. I, my hat's off to this guy for for taking his brand new, I don't know how many thousands of dollars wow. rig. It had these side steps on it that took some hits, but we'll, we'll get into that. Then uh, a colleague of mine from uh, another golf course in the Central Valley uh, with his uh, power wagon. Okay. I don't know what your current. Uh, truck. Pick yeah, up full truck. size. Full size, you know. Doge. Uh, Dodge. Big, big Dodge, power Dodge. wagon, yep. And uh, his girlfriend and a friend of hers. Okay. And then there was another uh, Jeep, uh, 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 J, two-door JK with 35s. Really? So uh, anyway, we all met up, shook hands, or, well, bump fists and, you know, socially distanced. And then we all we, had your mask on. We had our masks on. Yes. And, and then we <laughs> jumped in our race and drove 50 miles up towards Kirkwood. Wow. To hit the trailhead near Capel's Lake. Okay. Oh, a beautiful area. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful area. And the signs signs were indicating that there were, you know, chain restrictions. I didn't, really? Uh, yeah. But there was no snow on the ground. I mean, there was a little bit of dusting on the side, right. but it was fine. It was cold. Got got up to Capel's and tur- pulled off to that maintenance station where the yep. trailhead is. Yeah. So, so we ran the trail. So that if anybody's familiar with with Strawberry Trail or Strawberry Pass Trail, it runs. It connects uh, Highway 88 to Highway 50. Yeah, correct. It's about 12 miles long. It's oh. not, um, but most people run the trails north to south. Okay. We ran the trail south to north. Yeah. And typically, from what I've read in in the book that I have, is is the harder part is the north part. Okay. So you. Um, Come off Highway 50. There's you probably about three miles from Highway 50. The trail starts as a gatekeeper, and then there's some you know what they call painted rock and a few other obstacles. So how hard are we talking here? Um, like 20 foot ledges? No, or what? no, 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 oh. no, no, no. So so we're <laughs> describing it. So we hit the trail. We we aired down. <laughs> there's about an inch of snow on the ground. It was cold. It was like 20 a whole mid, inch mid mid yeah whole inch. It was beautiful. It was, everything was angry white. inch angry inch. Um, had a, had about, uh, it was about mid twenties. It was cold, you know, <laughs> you're cracking yourself up down there. So, uh, you know, we aired, I had a quick, uh, I was like the most experienced wheeler in the group, which was a change in, in things for me. Uh, wow. it was, you were so, the godfather. I was the godfather. Um, but whatever, uh, so we had a quick meeting. I kind of told him, you know, keep everybody within sight of each other. and uh, Don't you know, fuck up. Don't, don't fuck up. <laughs> if you have trouble, if you feel uncomfortable with something, you know, honk your horn, blink your lights. Honk roll, your roll horn. Radio. We had one rig that didn't have any radios at all. So the, Perfect. We, we had ham. Honk your horn. I had a ham. I had a, you know, I had a C. My CB was actually on for the first time, and I don't know how long. 
Wow, CB? Yeah, CB. Wow. Yeah. How does that work? Breaker, breaker, get Breaker, ready? breaker, yeah. How you doing? That's we like... Got, breaker 1-9, we, we got a convoy. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, the, the, going from Caples, the first, <laughs> I don't know, five miles of the trail was nothing. Yeah. It was literally SUV territory. Okay. Just nothing there. I mean, a little bit of snow, beautiful scenery. Great, great high Sierra views. Um, and then you, you, you start this long downhill descent. Sure. Uh, and that is just like a switchback situation. And and then things got real for the Dodge. Mm. The, even the, the Toyota, Bob driving the Toyota, he, he needed some spotting. Okay. Uh, now, Rodney was trail lead. I was drag. Oh, you were drag. I was drag. Nice. And, uh, you know, Rodney did a great job, although I will throw him under the bus oh. here shortly. Uh-oh. Uh, Uh-oh. Lot, lot right, right, right. Yeah, he, he drives that, what was that, 2019, 2018 J, JL? Pretty new. It's very new. It's stock. It's way nice. He's, put, he's making some modifications to it here shortly. Yeah. But uh, he, he has no fear. He's not, not, a, not afraid to throw that thing into situations. And uh, so the, the first obstacle is you're traveling south. Uh, or I'm sorry, north from the south side of the trail is Painted Rock, which is the the obstacle that everybody talks about. Right. Um, it's it, it it wasn't hard for me. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. But for stock rigs, it can be sure. a challenge, and or a long wheelbase, uh, you know, power mm. wagon. Yeah. Um. Anyway, Rodney being trail lead went through it, and I was. At the back, so I saw him go through, no problem. He made it okay, and then he, then there was a little bit of a rock garden afterwards that he got kind of hung up on, and they had to rock him off of. And then, and then he goes around the a left turn and goes down the hill a little bit further, and he's gone. I didn't see him, and he didn't come back. He didn't walk back, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? Finally, ten minutes later, he's he's still nowhere to be seen, and the tra- we're we're blocking the trail. Right, I. Stop my rig. I turn the engine off. I put it, you know, park and gear, and I get out and I walk down and, and I'm like, he's he's stuck. He's What's hung the up. Story, yeah. And I'm like, Rodney, what are you doing? He's like, I'm gonna take the winch and get myself off this rock. What? It's like, what in the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> it's like, he he couldn't have taken the worst possible line at all ever. Really? He's totally hung up. He's got a center diff. His his rear diff hung up on the rocks. And I'm like, dude, and he's getting himself off it with his winch. But I'm like, you, you have, sure. no, you shouldn't have been there. He's like, well, the whole tire tracks are there. Yeah, for <laughs> vehicles with 37s, <laughs> whole different line. Yeah, it's like you needed to be over here on the left side, dude. You know, way right. over here by right. the tree, just you know where it's just like, oh. Anyway, he gets himself off the rock, and I'm like, okay, cool. And then we get we get the Toyota through, we get the power wagon through, and then uh, this. This Jeep that was being driven by, I think his name was Zach. His Zach and his girlfriend. Okay. And he he was he was cool. He was a good guy. He was re- really well equipped. He had experience. He knew what he was doing. I think he was on thirty fives also. So there were no problems for him. And anyway, we we got through that. Continued on down the trail. The trail started to get tighter and tighter and tighter for the power line. Okay. Wagon. Okay. And, uh, there was some squeeze rocks. We had to navigate him through. And then we came up to some traffic. Uh-oh. And this was the club that that adopt a trail. This is their adopt a trail. I can't remember the name of the club, but it's this, it's the it's the club that that Greg and Jeff Bakken used to be members of. Okay, from Sierra, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we they they were doing some trail maintenance, and they were down just below us, kind of blocking the trail. They had fifteen rigs that were trying to come up, so we we were trying to get through and there was a little bit of a hang up there. So finally Rodney got through and then we were trying to get Bob through with his Tacoma. And there was this, this, this uh, S turn with this squeeze rock that was right. creating a little bit of a problem for, for Bob. And, and the guy from uh, the club that was doing the maintenance work was like, I, t- I was talking to him as like, Hey, we got a, we got five rigs total. We want to, we have a, power wagon and he was driving a power, power wagon. wagon he had an yeah. old an old power wagon and he's like oh you have a, a full <laughs> size and you want to get through here and it's like good luck players so we ended up and justin who was driving the power wagon had to turn around he he just 
There was no way he was going to make it through that last obstacle. Okay. So he, but they, but the club that was coming up the trail volunteered to escort him, make sure he made it through, and got him back to the to the eighty eight, no problem. Nice. So that was cool. You know, they were they were nice people, and one of the cool things is we ran into Adventures of Sarge. Uh, hashtag yeah, Adventures of Sarge. Yeah, there you go. So, you got a you got fanboyed out. Yeah, exactly. So we we handed out a few stickers and chatted a little bit. Wish I had hung around a little bit longer to hang, to check out the rig because it's pretty badass with the hemi. You got a hemi in there, exactly. Hemi. So, cool. watch that build. Cool group. Yeah, it has, just a uh, very very cool. Just the trail. It was cool. It was a fun day. The trails for me wasn't terribly challenging. Right. Um, but if you're in a more stockish type rig, yeah, it's gonna. There's some areas that can that can uh, you know catch your attention. Um. But, uh, yeah, Strawberry Trail, first time I've ever been on it. Most people run it north to south. We ran it south to north. Nice. Um, so if you run it north to south from Highway 50, you know, the, the hardest obstacles are it's like about two miles, maybe three miles from Highway 50 to the gatekeeper. Okay. Well, there is a gatekeeper. It's legit. Okay. Uh, if you can't make it through the gatekeeper, don't shouldn't don't, be on the trail. Be on the trail. Okay. Okay. Good. And then I like that. The first mile of the trail's got all the hard obstacles. After that, it's pretty easy. Um, but if you want an easy trail, go from eighty-eight. Uh, go to the first obstacle and turn around and, and work your happy ass back up <laughs> to eighty-eight. Back. <laughs> okay. So, but uh, yeah, it was beautiful. Nice scenery. Um, you can see at one point you're. High up above uh, Capel's Lake, you got this great vista looking out over Capel's Lake and Kirkwood. You can see Kirkwood, which is nice. A um, little bit of snow helped. Um, cold weather, it was nice. It was yeah. a great trip. I so we 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 were the original plan was we were going to run the trail both directions, but with the hangups we had at the obstacles with the with the full size and the mm-hmm. Tacoma, I you know Rodney and I talked. It's like you know if we turn around, we're going to be on the trail in the dark. And uh, we don't it's necessarily want, want to do that. Yeah. So we we got to the end, had lunch, aired up, and then drove, oh, shit, I don't know, 80 miles back to Jackson. Yeah. yeah. I, I drove, uh, that was a long day for me. I drove all day. Um, I think the Jeep was uh, 50, 80. I think I drove the Jeep over 100 miles, you know, uh, between pavement and trail. Okay. Um, and then of course, I think it was 95 miles each way with, with the trailer. So sure. just a long, but it was fun. I mean, it was a long day driving. I got home at, uh, at around 7 PM. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So left my house at 4:20. left my, I got home at 7 PM that night. It was great. It was a fun day. I'm glad I did it. Uh, I got to see a new trail, got to hang out, make some new friends, hang out, see some, see some, uh, listeners. It was good. That's very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so many trails here in California that you could do day trips on. Yeah. And that's a good one right there that you just described that, that connects 88 to 50. Um, and apparently it's, yeah, been well maintained over the years and they just got things back in shape and, and. There's some good sections in there. There, there, there are definitely some sections that'll get your attention. Yeah, uh, you, you know, I'm not saying that. It, I, I may be playing. It so, down what a would you bit. give this trail rating out of one to ten? One to ten. Six. Wow, that's pretty high. Well, I mean, that that first mile or two. Okay, so this is in like if you've got a uh, a Barbie Jeep with square headlights. Six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I didn't, dude. I I did the first. Going, what would I rate it? Go, what would Jason rate this trail, Chris? Like a three. You probably would have done it in an hour. And then, and that's that's kind of what I was telling Rodney. As you know, not not against you know Justin was a good guy. He's a great guy, and, and he he just the full size Ram uh, yeah. power wagon. Uh, it was fine until that that super tight section. It was section fine until it wasn't. Until it was fine until it wasn't. But if it was just a bunch of Jeeps that were well set up, if you and uh-huh. myself and CJ and and you know maybe even a Toyota like like uh, Tyler's, wow, we would have. Wow, we probably would have done that. Maybe more like Jimmy. Maybe Jimmy because Jimmy's is more like trail capable than. Yeah, Tyler's. he has lockers. 
He's got lockers. He's got cooling, all that stuff. Yeah, I, where I, I have no AC. Never had an issue with Jimmy on the trail, but Tyler, oh my God, it's like high maintenance. Yeah, I had no AC. I had no, and yeah. I have lockers. AC before lockers. I have lockers before AC. But I never turned my lockers on. I that's didn't even awesome. turn my four wheel drive on until about five miles into okay, the trail. Okay, well, that's a little disappointing. <laughs> so, well, we'll work on that. But. Yeah, when I got to Painted Rock, which which is it's legit, it's a legit obstacle. Yeah. I, I definitely four wheel drive and I turned the compressor on. Okay, and I was ready to okay. lock up. But uh, if it was if there was no full size in the group, we probably would have done the trail in an hour and a half. No kidding. And we could have been back and forth in three hours. Wow. So, but it, you know, it's it's a fun trail. Like I said, it's it's and it's. If you you're not you know if you're in a Prius you're not going to connect highway fifteen. No, 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 no. But I have uh, four wheel drive. And uh, you know the bonus is I got to drive on forty nine from Placerville down to Jackson for the first okay. time. That's okay. a nice little road. I've never that done that before. Beautiful road. Yeah, I mean it's it's uh, rural is all rural gets. You know it's as rural as rural gets. And uh, you know Jackson's killer. Yeah, Rodney took me on a tour through. God damn, what, what, what was town was that? It was. Uh, he took you on a worldwide tour. Well, we went through this like go, go, gold country, and we were driving through these seriously like rustic looking, you know, uber uh, rustic towns that you know people are no masks and they're nice. just uh, you know wine tasting and shit, you know and. I, he's like, hey, we can go wine taste. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to wine taste, but I really just need to. Load. I want to get this trailer, this Jeep yeah. on the trailer yeah. before dark, you know. So, and Rodney's place in, in Jackson's killer, man. He's got this. Oh, it's this a beautiful spot. Beautiful five acres, spot. you know, and he's, he's just it's like his own little he's got private a pool item. and a pond. Pool pond. He's got a he's got yeah. a, got a, a barn. Yeah. He's got a, a man, uh, man, cave. man cave. Exactly. Yeah, yeah no doubt. No, that place is badass. So, latte, latte, a little bar there. Yep, yep. Met his wife, and, you know, it's cool. So yeah. it's got that. It's great. I mean, if that if it wasn't in California, I'd be all over that shit. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so that's that's my report. So I, I did get some wheeling in. So you in. got I, wheeling in, oh, which I was show. super yep. excited about. I was going to ride right seat with you, but I, I had some honeydew list items to finish yeah. last weekend. Did you get them all done? Almost. Yeah? Bullshit. Almost. No, I honestly I did. Well, I'm there crashing you. here tonight. If, I, if there's a leak in, in the in the, in the There room, ain't no what, leak in the roof. We got yeah. all that sealed up. So, okay, good. Uh, yeah, you'll be good. Okay. You'll be good. <laughs> Put you to work tomorrow morning, but uh, 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 I'm gonna be gone at uh, 4 a.m. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> anyway, that's my report for what it's worth. Nice. Well, I'm good. glad you got out in the Barbie Jeep and wheeled. Yeah, it I mean runs, that's it impressive. Runs it runs good. Well, of course it does. Doesn't it like doesn't great. necessarily like eight thousand feet, but nothing really does. Well, so you unless know. you have a Hemi or a Stroker. We well, need the three, map three. sensor. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what else you got? So, uh, got to talk about. We got to backtrack a little bit. Oh, back to our apparel. What? Okay, wait a minute. So Johnny, you know, from Dirtbag Clothing, emails us when whenever he gets an order, yeah, right? From yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the Wheeling Wine and Whiskey page. Yes. And Andrew Jackson? No. <laughs> Andrew Jackson. Andrew Schooley. Uh-huh. From Welling Bureau UK oh from the God. United Kingdom. Sweet. Put an order in for a hoodie. Nice. And a sticker. And so Johnny sends us this thing, and he goes, hey, we got an order from the UK. I'm like, holy shit. That's awesome. I mean, we've had people buy from, you know, around outside the United States, let's sure. just say. Can uh, Canada? And- Canadi- can Canada? Can I buy a vowel? Yeah, Canada. Canada da, da, da. So here's Andrew in the UK. Wanted a hoodie, and... You know, paid the price of the hoodie, whatever it was, you know, in the $35 range or whatever. Right. And he had to pay more than that for shipping. Oof. Holy crap. 
So, just to get out to the UK. And and it's not in the control of us or Johnny no. or anything. This is what it costs to ship shit from the United States to the UK. That's crazy. So I, t- I, I texted Johnny. He goes, dude, we got this order, you know, and I'm like, oh, that's freaking awesome. Andrew, we're sending you a little extra swag for your your cost of Sweet. shipping. Sweet. So st- shit that you didn't order... Uh, super appreciative of you reaching out and ordering a hoodie here in the United Kingdom. Um, we've done this for our, our friends down in Australia. That, now that's a whole other animal. Yeah, and and so I, I realize shipping, we can't control it. It sucks, but um, we we want to we want to help you out with that and make that worthwhile. So thank you so much. Yeah, for your order. And uh, super cool. Yeah, so for sure. Yeah. Watch out, man. Don't don't don't. Well, this is out. this is a whole new setup for me here. We got we got some serious stuff going on. <laughs> here. So, yeah. <laughs> so, we do have some new stuff going on, and and you know I'm I'm sure that the Snail Trail boys are going to catch on pretty quick, but uh, I don't think so. You don't think they're, they're no? Uh, they're that, very uh, slow. They're very they're, they're that's why they're called snail trail because they're very slow. They got well, too many torques that they don't know what to do with. No. They're in their fifth transfer case, like low, 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 no, low. No, 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 yeah, no. so it's going to take them about four or five years to figure Sweet out what's auto. going on. Be careful. So, How am I doing there? Man, I got, I'm going to have to get in on that pretty quick. Okay, what do we got going on here? Well, I just want to talk real quick about this new equipment. Do really? you want to mention it? No. No? Not at all. Not at all? Okay, well, fuck it. We'll I got, just we'll I got talk equipment about it here. I got ice and a bourbon glass. Well, let me finish this. Clear uh, ice, this old I might elk. add. I got, I got some old elk. Oh, my Gee, ice. That is, old elk rye. Is that what you poured out this oh, evening? I did. Smooth. You got that from Raja, your local uh, purveyor oh, that's right. of spirits. That's right. I mentioned and, it to and him. And I got to tell you, I, yeah. I didn't ever think like like on textbook that i would be a rye fan but oh my god that is freaking good it is good it's smooth it's got a nice super sweetie sweet okay old elk smooth okay that's a given but right. it's sweet it's sweet. not this normally ryes have this crazy bite which isn't bad no but it it's a, an acquired taste and uh, that negates all that because it's like Super good. It is, and 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 that's the thing. So you mentioned it. You know, my local purveyor. This is a liquor store that's just down the street from my house in Livermore. Well, the point we're trying to make is, if you happen to be, you know, a fan of bourbons and whiskeys, and you can't find old I elk like or whatever, bourbon. go into your local liquor store and talk to the owner and you say. Do. And you say, need to become friends with you, your local right. liquor store. And, you know, my son, Craig, he's, he's 23, 20, I think he's 23, 24, 23. Something like that. He, he is actually on a first-name basis with, with the owner and Good the son him. of the owner. You know, so I went in there with, with Craig. Just when, we, when I bought this stuff, Craig like, walks in with me, and the son's there. He's like, hey, Craig, how are you doing? I'm like, holy shit. Nice. You know, Raja, first name basis. Exactly. Raja they didn't wasn't know there who you time. were. No, well, Raja knows who I am. The kid okay, did. Okay, okay. But, uh, you know, it's just like, um, but again, the point I'm trying to make is, you know, talk to the owner and say, hey, you know, I've heard about this 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 bourbon called Old Elk, you know, and yeah. can you can you talk to your supplier and get it? You know, and then and these guys, Raja's like, shit, yeah, I'll pick that up for you. And he did. He's picked up the bourbon, I mean, the weeded. Yeah, it, it, and so a, not and just a the straight bourbon exactly. he's brought in the rye and the weeded and now i need to get him he needs to get the weeded rye that's awesome i hope people are buying that because they have no clue if they don't follow this podcast or know about old elk and uh you know you see that on the shelf and you're like old elk what the hell and then never heard of that and then you know, the rye and the weeded. Oh, my God. Oh, for so sure, freaking good. The slow cut. I mean, come on, man. I mean, if you haven't tried it, Come try on, it. man. We're not going to steer you wrong here at Wheeling Wine and Whiskey at all. So, <laughs> But on that vein, <laughs> as we on, talk man. about... Come on, man. As we talk about whiskey and bourbon, Jason's down there Shit. partaking in something that we I have not had yet. 
Mm. I'm going to stand mm. up. Jason's going to talk. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to pour myself a snake. Stand up. I'm going to try to stand, stand up and not fall over. Stand up for your rights. Okay. What am I having? Uh, so we just <laughs> enjoyed the... <laughs> we just enjoyed the uh, old elk fry, which was incredible. And so got Jefferson's Ocean. So Jefferson's makes some ridiculously good whiskey. And uh, so the Jefferson's Ocean series, I'm going to call it. I don't know what they call it, but Jefferson's Ocean series is on a boat. We got a boat. boat. <laughs> we got a boat. So sailing. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's a kitschy, catchy thing, whatever. You know, they got these barrels that are on a boat that goes across the transatlantic. It's all about the environment. Well, apparently. And and barrels breathe, so they're out there at sea. So you got salt air, which absorbs some salt. Whatever. I don't know. I, I'm i not the chemist of this whole thing or, or whatever, but that's their shtick, right? Um, but I will tell you, regardless of where this whiskey has been, um, it's pretty freaking good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. It, I just, I just had a taste. This is my first taste ever. Mm. And, uh, that was like my 27th taste of that. And that was very good. It's uh, you know, caramel, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of smoke. No, I'm not getting much smoke I'm at all. A, I'm getting a little bit. You getting smoke? A little bit. Um, but I'm, no. I'm also, there's a heat, there's a little bit of heat. Well, um, there's a little heat, which it should be. It's a uh, 90 proof, 45 alcohol. You don't catch the smoke, huh? No, I'm not getting any smoke at all. And I pick up on smoke, but I don't know. Whatever. If you taste it, it's in there. Uh, huh. So this is aged at sea, a special weeded mash bill. It's good stuff. And uh, so apparently it left Savannah, Georgia. Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. Okay. Uh, Sailed past the the car carrier that sank. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, you know, across the seas, the South Pacific, um, you know. What? What? The Pacific is not off of Savannah. That's the Atlantic. Well, I know, but they they started in Savannah and it went across the South Pacific into Melbourne, Australia. Okay, so they had to go down through the Caribbean and through and the, the Panama e- Canal. Yes, and okay. then into the equator, Singapore, Shanghai, you know, Japan, Tacoma. It came back to Tacoma, Washington. Went into the Caribbean, into Baltimore, back to Savannah. That's a long trip. I mean, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's, it's okay. So they, they bottled up some bourbon and, or whiskey, I should say, and put it into these barrels that went across the ocean. Sure. And there's something to the maturation process of absorbing the environment that they're in. So well, the salt air, the different temperatures, the different humidities. Yes. So there's something the about that. of the boat, the exactly. motion of the ocean. The motion of the ocean. Whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Do you have whatever. A sound for that? No. But if you buy into that, you know, great. But regardless of where this barrel has been aged, it is worth its money. I don't know. So I got to give a shout out to the uh, the Walters. Oh, uh-huh. Taylor and Alexis. I was the Ooh. officiant at their wedding. That's right. And they gave this to me as, and they're very thoughtful. Because, Beautiful bride. Yes. I saw the pictures. I wasn't there. <laughs> it was an incredible wedding. And uh, luckily, the weather held out. Everything was great. No rain. And I'm like, holy crap. You know, they gave me this bottle. And so I'm sharing it with you for the first time. We've had a little sip each. Yep. And, and it is a unique. I love Jefferson's across the board. I mean, oh, you can't go wrong. Like, no. you go into a store 
and they got Jefferson's anything like the, you know, regular, the weeded, the ocean, whatever. The Twelve year, you know. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna go wrong. No, 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 no. It's no. a good, and good the last, whiskey. The last time I was at uh, Total Wine oh, and shit. More, I was super close to buying one of the oceans. Uh, I don't know if it was this voyage or not. Oceans Eleven, um, but. I didn't. I didn't pull the trigger on it, obviously. Yeah. But um, you know, eventually, I, I'm gonna. You know, there's so. <laughs> it's just, you know, to be a bourbon uh, aficionado, I mean, there's just so many, and it's a it's a big trend right now to be right. to be into the exotics or the 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 boutique bourbons, and there's just just tons of them, tons and tons hey. and tons. How about this? I don't know what what told me to stop, but I'm driving down, you know, the road to the dump. Really? Okay? I got I got a load of shit. I got to dump at the dump. I don't know how this is gonna work. Out, no, no. Okay. I got a landscape company, <laughs> so you know we go to the dump a lot. So I got a, a dump trailer full. And we're driving through uh, Melpitas here in the Bay Area to our local dump. And our BevMo in Melpitas um, had been closed due to COVID. Whatever. Somebody, one of the employees had COVID. I don't know. Is this on Calaveras Boulevard? Yeah, exactly. And so I'm driving through and it's like, I don't want to say midday. It's like one thirty, two o'clock. Your steering wheel get tugged in a direction. Exactly. It did. And so I'm like, I'm like heading to the dump, you know, on, I got to, I got to make this happen. You know, we got to get to the next stop, empty the trailer, blah, blah, blah. Truth. And then I go, oh, BevMo. And I go, BevMo. Is it open? I'm going to go drive in and just see. Because I didn't even know if it was open yet after the COVID bullshit. And I drive into this parking lot, you know, F450 pickup, dump trailer, pull in, and I see people coming out. So I'm like, okay, they're open. They be open. So I park, you know, go in, go immediately to the counter or the uh, the, the locked, um, you know, at the end of the aisles, they have these, you know, where well, all the, the end exclusive caps. stuff is, the right? End caps. Well, they, they, yeah, they, locked. Right, the locked end caps. Uh-huh. So it, it the, where the two doors meet, like, it's all glass, but where the two doors meet is like three inches each. So let's just say six inches are covered up with metal Okay. in the center. And I look, and I'm kind of peek, peeking in from the side, and there's a Blanton's bottle. Ooh. Ooh, or a box, I should say. Oh, box. Box. Oh, shit. That's even better. So, um, had Bourbon's some, boxed up. That's, that's, that's right. That's so, I, I, I look and there was no price tag or anything below it. It doesn't matter. And I'm like, Jason Money. Okay. Uh, they got Blanton's. They got this McKenna tin that I've been looking for. Okay. So then this, this older lady comes up to me and says, Can I help you? And I go, Um, yeah. Uh, that Blanton's right there. She goes, oh, we got Blanton's? <laughs> she, did. she didn't even know. You know she didn't know. And uh, she goes, oh, that's got to be an empty box. I don't think we have any Blanton's. And I go, okay, that's cool. I go, well, can somebody open up this? This? Oh, let me get the manager. That's bullshit. So the manager comes over, box? super cool, opens up, and she goes, oh, no, that." If that's a box, we it's it's full. It's legit. And sure as shit, she opens it up, and there's a brand new bottle of Blanton's. Too legit. Oh. Too legit to quit. Which uh, so w- which one were we talking about? Just regular Blanton's. Really? It's not the gold or anything. So what? But what, Blanton's is very good whiskey. It is. What letter did you score? O, 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 Office Space O, O. <laughs> Yeah, so I got a letter O. And honestly, out of all the Blanton bottles I have, I, that was the first O I've gotten. Oh, <laughs> wow, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I know. <laughs> oh. But 
I am like one letter away from all the Blanton's bottles Holy of shit, having the be full to, gamut. You're going to be able to send it in? I can send all the uh, the tops. There. So there's these horses on top. So the Blanton's thing, okay, yeah, I get it. So there's this, this you know, following with Blanton's, right? Sure. But it, it is a very good whiskey. But if you can get it at retail price, which I did, this bottle and a few other bottles, other bottles I paid more for well, um hashtag jason money no that was back when i had jason money now it's all chris money <laughs> right dude um, i'm broke i'm, I'm yeah flat broke. yeah yeah whatever lorenzo's shaking his head right now <laughs> but get out of my uh, back pocket. so like you know 65 70 dollars a bottle is what you should get blends at right if it's retail but then there's the if you can find it these, you know, liquor stores, independent liquor stores and stuff that bump Rises it up to a buck to ten, you know, buck twenty, whatever for the for a bottle. Anyways. It's the same with Weller. Everything's overpriced. Yes. Yes. So supply and demand, supply and demand, simple economics. And so um I go in there and I'm like, okay. And she goes, Oh no, this is a bottle and it's seventy dollars, and sure as shit it was and I walked out of the store happy as a clam. Is that the only bottle they had? Yeah. Shit. And that's and the only reason why they had that bottle, in my professional opinion, or non professional opinion, is that because it was closed down during COVID because of somebody getting the coronavirus, uh, shut that store down. Okay. But there's no reason why that bottle should have still been there well, in the case. it was case. there because it was meant to be yours. Well, apparently, and I don't know, thank you, the little angel that was on my freaking right shoulder. I noticed it's not sitting on the table here. Either. No, no, not at all. Um, but anyways. Really? Very, uh, really, really. Like, you've never had good whiskey at my house. <laughs> you've never on, had man. good whiskey at my house? Um... No, it's all been good. It's oh, all good. Fuck, really? <laughs> but how many times we dropped the f bomb this episode? Only two, and that's all you. So, <laughs> so I just got to say that is my Blanton story. Totally rando. You never know. The moral of the story is you never know. Stopping by a local, you know, liquor store, slash whatever it may be, even a big time. You know, seller, and that's a good thing. The one of the good things about Bevmo is that their prices don't escalate, right? So you find a good bottle; it's going to be at retail price, right? And, um, anyways, so I got that going for me, which well, is nice. Know. Exactly. Now, didn't 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 we see? I, I don't know, you, the listeners. If you want to look out for uh, Old Elk and see mm-hmm. if. Uh, I know we've we've had some luck getting it at a Costco in Southern California. Southern California and Arizona. Arizona. And my friends in Southern California, um, uh, my my well, just dirtbag Johnny. Dirt, dirtbag. His wife works at a Costco part time, and uh, she texts me all the old elk on the shelf, and I'm like, what? The what? Fuck? So great, I'm like, great price. Forty dollars, old elk for the, plus the blend plus the blended. Well, the normal old elk, but straight blend plus the pour, the pour, the old elk pour. And I go, you got to be kidding me! I go, give me ten. She goes, really? And I go, yeah, give me ten. So <laughs> but, she boxed up ten of them. But then you called me. Her okay. So we had mutual family slash friends. That were down visiting from the Bay Area, from Livermore. Yep. Um, and she sent uh, the package home with them, ten bottles, and to Livermore, which was very ch- short order to your house. Exactly. Apparently, across town. Yeah. So you were able to jump on over there. So we were bootleggers. Yeah. Well, apparently. He uh, he had a NASCAR actually sitting. Did outside. he really? Oh yeah, nice. Full fledged NASCAR. Nice. He he drove from 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 San Diego all the way to to Livermore at <laughs> two hundred miles per hour. So you <laughs> took a few bottles. Uh huh. I took the rest. Yeah. I mean, just I'm like, you got it. You got to 
cash in on this. Well, stuff, you have right? the opportunity to uh, jump on. Yeah. It, right? And it, I knew it make great Christmas gifts. Shit, I yeah. mean, with the old El Poor gift set. Yep. I mean, I'm like, this is this is a no brainer. And, and they're the new style of bottles and everything, man. They it's are the, the whole... new bottles. I love the old bottles, but the new bottles are even cooler. I have just I, the style. I, of I them. kept an old bottle just because. So, do you keep your old bottles? Not have all you of kept them. it? Oh, I got so I, many. I can't. I, I gotta. Know. I gotta. I gotta put this on Instagram. How many old elk empty bottles I have? Well, you know, the, I don't know if I should be the, proud of it, but I've shared a, guest a ton bedroom, of it. The guest bedroom's a little crowded. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so, but no, this is good stuff. So, yeah, if you happen to be in Southern California, Arizona, check out see if you can There's find only Aldo. two Costco's that have them. But there might be more. I don't know. I don't I mean, know. It's the holidays, you know, holidays are rapidly I approaching. I mean, if you Could go be. Like I said, I'm going to be decorating my house. Um, for Christmas, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. But uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I, uh, this is Chris. But uh, we had a good couple of weeks. You know, I know the holidays are coming up. I would definitely appreciate if all of our listeners would uh, log in to our homepage. You know, wheelingwineandwhiskey.com and click on the merch link and, you know, go and do a little Christmas shopping for your loved ones. It'd be pretty killer to have you post pictures of uh, your your wife, girlfriend, brother, sister, mother, father wearing, you know, Wheeling Wine and Whiskey merch. It'd be pretty awesome. Uh, it would definitely uh, would, would, would help the cause. And, yeah, no, no doubt. So... And if you haven't been out and about, I mean, this the winter season's coming up. We want to go wheeling. I know that the snow is going to be, the snow is flying now up in the Sierra. Um, definitely want to take advantage of that opportunity to go wheeling, but be safe. I know that as I uh, scanned social media over the day today, that uh, the people are talking about going wheeling on Sourgrass and, and Slick Rock and Corral Hollow and uh, some trails are getting closed down. Gates are getting closed by the uh, National Forest Service. But uh, you certainly want to wheel responsibly. Be safe if you have a ham radio. Uh, oh, we should mention that the uh, I saw something about the 805. What? Did you, did you see? What happened? I guess there's a. it's still operating, but I guess it's operating on some backup hardware. Really? Um, and this kind of goes into a safety factor, but... Uh, the there's a big upgrade going on the the 805. They're getting some new hardware for the repeater up there, the 805 Rubicon repeater. Uh, you probably get more information from Snail Trail 4x4. I'm sure that, that Tyler would be more than happy to well, talk about Well, he talked the about the NCIW all waterproofing that and everything. Right. So, so what's going on with the 805? Well, like I said, I just saw a quick blurb on, on uh, social media about them taking out, uh, they, they pulled out some old hardware and they're going to be okay. upgrading into state-of-the-art hardware here pretty quick. Uh, and you, apparently, didn't you get to see that repeater? Where, uh, I got to see the repeater at Spider Lake. And that, I think, is that the main, re- main it's deal? Pr- well, I don't know. I don't know, but it was pretty freaking cool. It was one of the, it was the repeater at Spider Lake. And it was a, you know, little rock house. It was center block. Or well, it was center block with this rock on it. It was very nice, actually. Uh-huh. I could live in there. It was like about <laughs> four square feet. Four, well, you don't need But it had a view 360 degrees around. But the, you know, I just poked my head in there and looked at the, the hardware software <laughs> that well, was no, going I mean, on it's it's killer and I mean, it was insane and i could recognize a few components yeah a blinky light and a yeah whatnot. that exactly I mean, that's a blinky light look but at that. then and then tyler came in right behind me he goes oh yeah look at these these <laughs> freaking filters right here you know and they were the size of like you know six inch diameter by like four feet you know, that were radio frequency so he filters. Was, he was nerding out. 
Oh, God, yeah. There was total nerd out there. <laughs> I mean, it was cool. It was, it was just super cool and looking at the antenna mast and everything. How tall is the antenna? It's not that tall. Well, it's on the top of a hillside. Uh, 50 feet, 20 feet, 30 15, feet? 20 feet. No shit. Max. Really? Max. I, I wish I had seen that. And then there was a couple littler antennas that he explained, that John uh, Arns explained, and... and you know, just super cool what's going on up there at the Rubicon and, and the communications that have well, uh, that, that's developed the, over the years. That's the important thing that people need to understand, our listeners need to understand, is that, uh, you know, I mean, you probably heard the episode, a previous episode to this or two episodes ago where Jason was up on the Rubicon and they, you know, talked about, the for sale game with James you know, <laughs> selling a Jeep, my, yes. my Jeep. But the reality of it is I, I was able to talk to the, them, Jason specifically, from Livermore. With the uh, Echo Link. With the Echo Link over the internet to the 805 repeater. And those that's important stuff because, I mean, if, you, if, you're, like, if you're in trouble up on the con and you need help, you can call out, and there's the people that are constantly it's monitoring communications. It's great, yeah, and, and get help. And you can, I mean, you can literally have help in minutes. There could be a helicopter sent in there and, and airlifting you out if you're it's a medical emergency, but, in in short order. Yeah, how cool is that? That that we're on the frequency, and we we talked earlier in the day and said, hey, at seven p.m. You know, get on your echo link exactly to the eight oh five for the for the you know Rubicon Trail and find out if you are gonna, you know, be there Saturday morning right. to come on in or not. Right. And so at seven PM we're there and may or may not have had a few cocktails. No, you definitely then. had a few cocktails. <laughs> And I had a few cocktails. <laughs> and so I go, oh, shit, 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 shit we got to get out of line because Chris is coming on. And so I tune in the 805 on the Jeep. And I got the, the you know, volume cranked. And sure as shit, you come on. KK, X, Y, X, whatever. KK, 6, Y, X, X. Well, there you go. XM, KK, XS, 6. Uh, whatever yours is. What? Yeah. I'm and I'm ch- XM, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're XS. I'm going to get a vanity call sign here. You so. should. And um, and so I go, oh, shit, that's Chris. And then sure, shit, we're talking to you, having a conversation. No, I'm not going to make it. Work sucks, blah, blah, blah. And But here we are out in the middle of the freaking wilderness. Exactly. On the Rubicon Trail. And all made possible for communication through the ham radio system, exactly. which was, you know, super cool. So the point is that if you don't have your ham license, right. you should get it. And yeah, I know really COVID is, is jacked everything up. It's not not that hard. But, you know, Carol popped in and, and talked for a bit. There right, too. You know, right. Carol yeah, Lemon. she did jump in and that, she's, from she's, Placerville. She's one of our first fans. Yeah. Oh, so, she's one of our super so sh- fans. Shout out to Carol. Kill yeah. Her. How you doing, Carol? Good to see Carol. you. Good, nice to talk to you. Love you. Yeah. Carol's Sorry. great. Sorry. Uh, Who? You're, you're, you know, Craig. Craig. Whatever. Oh, Craig don't care. He don't <laughs> listen to us, but Carol does. <laughs> Carol's a fan. So anyways, a lot of fun. Just good, good times. Good stuff. And yep. um, yeah, that, just the communications from that it's, standpoint it's imperative. is imperative. Incredible. And, you, you know, talking to John Allen, I mean, all the stories over the years of how the, you know, ham, ham communications have saved lives and, and prevented people from, from further injury or whatever. It's important. So and it's, it's definitely the, a step beyond CB. I would definitely uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, what are you doing down there? Eleven o'clock. Really? Oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, if you don't Thanks have if you playing. don't if you don't have your ham license, get your ham license. If you know, COVID's jacked that up, but yes, uh, it has. Don't don't give up on that. And I know Snail Trail Four by Four has connections to that. So you email or DM uh, either Tyler or Jimmy, and they'll figure out a way to get you licensed or right. help you with that. 
Right. Beyond that, um, yeah, just uh, holidays are coming up. Go shopping for our merch. You got the $10 discount code if you've been listening. 10%. Oh, 10%. Well, if they spend $100, that's a 10% off. Right? 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 (laughs) Sorry. We're wiped out. It's been a long day. Super long day. Super long week. On that note. Are we? Are we done? Well, no. I just want to close it up. You got nothing? No, you're doing great. You're not even going to fucking... I'm not even going to do the end of the show. I am going to do the end oh, of the show. Oh, you are. Well, okay. Chilled. So here if you want to talk to Jason, oh, text, here we go. email Jason. It's Jason at wheelingwineandwhiskey.com. Hey, Jason at wheelingwineandwhiskey.com. You, can, you yeah. can catch Chris at wheelingwineandwhiskey.com yeah, or send Lorenzo. All your negative comments there. Lorenzo, if you really want to get some shit. Lorenzo doesn't you. answer his. Email does. very often. But go ahead and send him an email. Lorenzo go ahead. at wheelingwinewhiskey.com. Okay. Don't, IG. Don't forget about the gram at wheelingwinewhiskey.com or wheelingwinewhiskey. No, 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 blah, 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 blah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we may have had a little bit of bourbon. Hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> really? <laughs> Slur. What? <laughs> Wheeling wine and whiskey. It's a Friday at the night. IG. We're recording on Friday night. At the so IG. Know. Neither of us has to work. Really? Tomorrow. Really. You're living up to our Booze Brothers theme. The Booze Brothers. So, yes. There you go. Boom. And you got the discount code. Yes. For not only Wheeling Wine and Whiskey, but also Dirtbag Dirt Johnny. Dirtbag Johnny. Dirtbag Clothing. Thank you for your support, Dirtbag Johnny. And our patrons. And the patrons. Kick ass. They do. And uh, we got some great stuff coming your way, so buckle up, Buttercups. Here it comes. And you know what? That's all I got, Chris. Well, there you go. We're out.